here with you and today for the card making video we're going to make a set of uh, six cards and I figured I would do some recycling and use these to make a set to sell on my Etsy store because I'm out of cards and I figured I have these beautiful envelopes that I think would work great with this um, they were a gift because it goes with this which is I believe paper but let's open it up and see uh, it was my stepmom Diden, who gave it to me yeah it's beautiful piece of paper but I thought it was going great with these here which is also somebody somebody sent these to me and those are abstract art um, cards so I thought we could recycle these and look look the the colors with it. I think it's gonna go great together and then I have these Tim Holtz stamps which I thought we could stamp on and um, and do something with that so that's the plan for today so we're gonna start off by cutting out the cards and I'm thinking I'm gonna probably layer a bit but I'm not quite sure yet so we shall see and just play and make cards out of out of these um, I'm thinking that this would be probably it's the fact that it's shiny though I'm probably better off using something like this to put the sentiments on I don't know, I must have some more. Or I could put the sentiment on this though. That would be that would be a cool way of using ah, everything is falling apart. That would be a cool way of using this. Yeah. Because I have a ton of these. So let's use that. This is too shiny. It's this the I've got a feeling like the stamp is not gonna stick to it. The the ink. It's gonna make a mess. And I definitely don't want to make more of a mess than I need to. So we will not be using nice. So we're Sunday, probably around midday. I'm taking it slower today. Um, the um, past few weeks I've been I've been working on, on the studio non-stop since mid-July and like working my full-time job and everything and um, there's, there's an important member of my team that's um, missing and so it's been it's been overwhelming and I'm finding myself like very um, very tired so I decided that this weekend I was going to take it easier um, and that's what I've been I've been doing so that's my that's been my goal is to rest this weekend as much as possible um, I want to get the project done and I'm very anxious to move my stuff uh, to rent out the place and everything it's coming along but now we're in the fin fi finishing touches and that like takes more time it always takes more time than you figure and um, so yeah I'm, I'm anxious to get this done but it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing once it's all finished I can't even begin to imagine moving the space though <laughs> uh, that's gonna be a bit overwhelming but one step at a time one step at a time that's all I can do right now so we are gonna start off by lining this I want to cut these into two pieces maybe I should do that first before I, I cut anything else and see how that goes so these are five and a half so they were gonna be five and a half so two and three quarters about I'm 
Okay, so we've got those down. So let's see how this is gonna look. Let's say I was to do this. How big is that? do three and a half so that it would be easier to remember so let's say we do that how does that look I think it looks really fresh and nice and then you can have this if I put this on top will it show through would the design show through so much maybe not I'm feeling like that would help with this color to match it. Okay, so let's stamp it and see. So we could do two stamps at least, maybe three or four. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't want to waste this either even though I have tons of it like I I'm still very uh, you know I don't like wasting anything if I can if I can make more use out of something I will I'll make sure that it's well stamped I should cut this though first because it has this little perforated edge and it's not going to make a nice edge okay so let's do this and of course I do have um, what's called one of those tool Mitzi tool that I could use to do stamping um, but right now <laughs> I don't I don't feel like pulling it out I know I liked how that worked so let's see could put that one there stuffed out pretty good I love well Tim Holtz stamps uh, always do are really always uh, awesome um, that's one thing and the other thing is with the um, the mouse pad which you can get very cheap and this one is when I had in my stash like I used it for a while and after a while it got stained and so on so I just recycled it into a stamping pad and I think that's pretty awesome okay so maybe you could do the other three right away this way I don't have to I can pull out put away the the, the ink that'd be the smart thing to do right
love these. This got dirty, so I'm going to put the the image at the bottom. The the last one. Loving these. Turned out really awesome. Okay, so put this away, put that away. Now I'm gonna check to see I've got ink on my fingers. Might as well remove that before I stain anything else. So I didn't manage to put ink on the, those papers. The garbage. Put this away. I'm out of way. And let's get back to our cards. So let's see. finding ways of using this stuff. Okay, so that one would go this way. And it's going to be some very abstract type of cards. I think they're very pretty. They're going to be pretty simple and pretty. Okay, so I'm going to cut this off like so and I can probably use this piece to line all the other sentiments so. let's see how that looks and then on that side so there's no pencil mark I think it's very, I think it's pretty. It's simple, but pretty. And would make a nice set of little cards to send out to friends and such. Or to use in your journals also. I just realized that this is not perfectly straight. that And voila, we've got a nice little card that's going to come with its, uh, its little pink envelope, which doesn't fit. I should have checked that first, shouldn't I? Why did I think it fit? This is so strange. Okay, so change of plans. We're going to cut this down a bit. because we need to make it fit in the in the in the envelope otherwise that's not gonna that's not gonna work okay so saved the top 
so that's good. I'm just gonna take another card base and that's it. This one I'll save the base to stamp something on but the other side I'm gonna ditch it because it's it's all ruined. And let's pull out another card ba base. And let's figure out the size of these because I need to get that done prior for the other cards to be done. Oops. Good thing I did I checked I, I showed you guys the size of, of the, the envelope because otherwise it would not have that would have been a disaster. Okay, so I would need it about there. Will this fit? Yeah, that's gonna fit. Okay, so if I do that, then how big is my card? I think I could do three and a quarter. Can I do three and a quarter? Just so it would be easier. Yes. To measure for all the other ones. Okay. Change of plans. It happens. Okay, so let's get this on the card again. And uh, here we go. Actually, I think it's going to look better if I cut it down just a tad because the the base is lower, smaller. I'm going to do five and a quarter by three and a quarter. Yeah. And voila. And that's going to fit nicely in the little envelope. Okay, so we said uh, we said that there. Let's just take this down so I don't have to do it to remember. Five and a quarter by three and three quarters. Okay, so that beside me, so that I remember. And let's cut out the other cards. Let's pull out the number of envelopes I need. One, two, three, four, five. And I can put the rest somewhere else. Let's cut down all the card cards so that I'm at uh, I don't make a mistake again. Don't stick stuff down that I shouldn't have. Okay, so we've got all of that done. And, and that's going to look pretty good. I should have measured this. That's uh, about a five. I'm going to need more. Okay, and how big was it? I should have I should have measured that one too. Uh, three and a half. I think I mentioned it, but then I didn't write it down, so I forgot. Three and a half. Three and a half. And three and a 
had. Okay, perfect. So I can put this away. I can glue all of these pieces down. So that's done. And then I can put, I could actually glue all of these down too. And figure out which sentiment goes on which card after. I think I'm missing a card. Definitely missing a card. Set a set set of six, and I trimmed a set of five. And I didn't do the three quarters. Oh my! There's these like that where you're measuring, you forget to measure your stuff properly, or you take stuff down and then you don't remember. So three and three quarters. Five, five and a quarter. Okay, that makes more sense. And then I need the, this one to be three and a half. Just imagine what you guys were seeing all along that I was I should have been listening to. So I've got all my cards. Uh, maybe I should cut out these and decide at the same time where I want to put each of the sentiment. Okay, so this that out of the way. Okay, so got all of this cut down. Now it's just a question of deciding what's going to go on where and then putting the the yellow, uh, not the yellow, the pink underneath. Um, I think I want to put that one there. I feel like these go more like down. That's how it's gonna go. Okay, so now I just need to put this on top. I should 
put it on the other side because there's a little pencil mark there. There's that one. And then that's too thin, but this one would be just the right size. So let's use that one. Oops. Limit the number of cuts that I need to do. And that's using your stash at its best. Recycling cards that you have as background and then your stamps that you have because we all have a ton of stamps and we don't use them often enough. So thinking of using them and yeah, you can make a nice set of cards. These would make really fun uh, little gift or if you're into uh, fairs and stuff, that would be a good set to put for a fair. I would think a nice little uh, set of gift cards like that with a and and just found the the, the envelopes and the paper at a thrift store so you can get you know there's so much you can do. Would this fit? Yes that would fit perfectly actually. So And I just need to cut it slightly. Or do I need to cut it at all? Yeah, slightly. Because I still want to see the background. So I don't know how long this video will be, but I've got a feeling it's pretty long. even though it's a fairly simple set of cards. And I love that I'm going into my stash and using what I've got, which is one of my big goals is to use up my stuff. And here we go. So that's it, guys. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing me make these cards. I think it's gonna be a super fun set to put in my Etsy store. So if you're interested, go and check it out. Um, and yeah, I will be selling these. Um, so the link will be in the description box below if you're interested. And uh, that is it for now. Love you guys. Stay safe and have a wonderful week. Bye.